Hey, my name is Kevin Young, and you're watching The Bamboo Ceiling, the web series where I introduce you to the Asian actors whose excellence is enough to break the mold, and in my opinion, are deserving of a little more recognition. Today, I'll be introducing you to Hollywood legend Tsai Chin. Number one. Her career as an actress, director, teacher, and author is one that has spanned more than five decades in three continents, having worked extensively in China, the UK, and the United States. Number two. She is perhaps best known in America for her performance of Auntie Lindo in the Joy Luck Club, the 1993 film based on Amy Tan's best-selling book, where reviewers hailed her performance, stating the film was virtually stolen by her. Number three. You might also know her from her appearances on Grey's Anatomy, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and if you're younger, Wendy Wu Homecoming Warrior. Number four. She is the daughter of legendary Peking opera actor and singer Zhao Jinfeng, and was actually the first Chinese student trained at the Royal Academy of London. Number five. Her big break as an actress, though, was being offered roles in both The World of Suzy Wong and Flower Drum Song when they came to West London. She ended up choosing Suzy Wong, which, while panned by critics, was a commercial success. Number six. Her popularity in London was once so great that she had a Chinese leopard named after her at the London Zoo. Number seven. She has played a Bond girl on two different occasions and retains the distinction of longest gap between roles for Ling and You Only Live Twice and Madame Wu in Casino Royale. Number eight. Despite a pretty impressive track record filled with Hollywood feature films, she stated that perhaps her favorite role was that of Hester Prynne because of the challenge she found in the difference of, the, of their characters. Number nine. In terms of her life and career, I think she says it best here. You see, everything you do, whatever it's good, bad, or indifferent, it always teaches if you want that to teach you. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like this video if you actually like these videos and want me to continue the series, and comment if you learned anything new or interesting. I also appreciate any and all suggestions for artists to profile, because the Oscars may have passed, but our struggle for representation still must carry on. Also, if you want to learn more about Tsai Chin, check out her book, The Daughter of Shanghai, or this really awesome interview I found, which, although it's 17 minutes, not gonna lie, it was so interesting, I wish it was longer. See you guys next Monday. <laughs> Adios.